Namaste, fam. Crystal blessings to my earthly family, celestial and elemental in this realm and beyond. I would like to share uh, with you today a little crystal grid from this book called The Crystal Grids. A Practical Guide to Achieving Your Dreams by Philip Permut. I hope I got his name right. I had this book for the last two years, but I was so busy traveling from Malaysia to Portugal to Sweden and uh, my things are all over and my crystals are all over and I really never got to work with this. So intuitively, I picked up today a message for us. Awareness. I think we are all in need of this little awareness, being aware of this drama, trauma, chaos that is being played by the system upon us as humanity. It's just shadow play filled with fear, division, hatred confliction so I like to bring a little healing crystal healing of awareness to us today of course if you seek uh, various crystal books and healers use different uh, sacred geometry and different crystals but on this book today we are using these crystals the main one or the focus stone as we call this on a grid, is lapis lazuli. You can see all the crystals here. The first ring crystals are celestite, aquamarine, blue quartz, angelite. The second ring crystals are penicite, lapidolite, septarian, magnetite, alexandrite, Garnet, Citrine, and Opal. Okay, and the main ones, as you call the amplifiers. These are the amplifiers. I love kyanite. These are kyanite. So for those of you who have worked with crystals, crystal healers, collectors, intuitive readers, and those who've already done crystal grids maybe you can try this one today if you have some of the crystals which I don't most of it because crystal grid no matter how small it may seem no matter how few crystals we use it is still powerful it amplifies energy and intentions that we set upon the grid. So that's the message today for all of us. Awareness in different areas of our lives right now that we need that. So for those who have not uh, yet been connected to um, crystal beings, I suggest that you walk into a crystal store that is close to you. If you have one, just walk in and see how you feel, how those crystals are connected to you. Not you connected, I mean, yes, it is symbiotic, you know, how we feel and how they are connecting to us. So, have a open mind do not uh, anticipate or have a certain expectation just walk in and see how you feel in the shop and 
Don't look for an eye candy like this is an eye candy. It's very beautiful that this phone is not focusing and making justice to this beautiful apophyllite. This is my first apophyllite crystal being. So this is a true eye candy. Just like this one. The Oco Geode, supposedly from Brazil. I'm not sure if it's mine any, anywhere else on earth. It's beautiful, this little crystal cave it has. Shimmering, tiny crystals. So these two are really an eye candy where you just look at it and go like, wow. But not this one. Okay, this is my favorite actually. I got this from the eco store. Which they labeled it as Aura Light 23, which is not Aura Light 23, as I know it. Maybe it's close to Melody Stone, or the Super 7, they call that. It's actually, you know, this brownish, reddish tint is actually hematite. And if you look under strong lighting, I don't think you can see it here. I see a brownish, goldish tint at the top and purple and clay court and very dark blackish maybe geophyte as what it says one of those minerals in uh, super 7 but if you talk to a geologist or mineralogist they'll just say this is a red amethyst nothing metaphysical you know seven minerals or like or like 23 23 minerals and it's definitely not a eye candy but I love the vibration it calms me and um, disconnects to me, you know, everyone has a different feel to these minerals, crystal being, how you are being called upon and the symbiotic connection that you have. So just like I said, is go intuitively walk into the store and see how you connect to these uh, crystal beings. Maybe you're skeptical. You know, like, mm, well, it's just a rock. But give yourself a try. 